Some people want them banned. Others say they're good for business. Electronic cigarettes are growing in popularity. And now a new shop's opened in Caversham dedicated to the devices. Unlike tobacco products, there's nothing illegal about using e-cigarettes indoors. But some people argue it gives off the wrong message about smoking. Emma Vardy has this report. It's a site we thought had disappeared from our pubs and bars. But enter the e-cigarette. They contain liquid nicotine, and what looks like smoke is water vapour. So I used to smoke, then a friend of mine introduced me to e-cigarettes. I tried one, and I just found myself not needing a cigarette, and uh, now I'm at the stage where even when I go out drinking, which is the hardest time to, to not smoke, um, I just vape instead. Some pubs have banned so-called vaping, while others welcome it. And there's no rules against employers allowing e-cigarettes at work. This office nearby is allocated a special room, but they're getting mixed reactions. I think everyone will be a bit more cheery, don't have to come out in the rain. I think you shouldn't be allowed to smoke them in a building because it's just going to offend other people. E-cigarettes don't contain tar or many of the chemicals that are so bad for your health in tobacco products, but still medical experts say they don't want to see these glamorised in the way smoking ones was. We have to watch out that tobacco companies and others don't use this as a way of renormalising tobacco. In the United States, the marketing is much more aggressive and uh, vigorous, uh, and I would worry if we were to get that kind of marketing over here. But that's not the aim, say those in the business. Philip Jellyman's gone from selling e-cigarettes on a market stall to opening a whole shop. We're not really glamorising these to get people to use them. What we're using them is to help people get off the smoking. And we think that we're actually saving tens of thousands of lives by doing this. Medical experts say e-cigarettes are much safer than tobacco, but until they're properly regulated, which is due to come in 2016, it's yet to be proven whether this really is the smoker's miracle cure. Emma Vardy, BBC South Today.